In the skies of Columbia dwells a beast of immense strength and power. Its very presence is enough to bring men to their knees, and its name alone can instill the most primal and potent fear. Children sing songs of the creature, lest they forget its vengeance. It is the guardian of the lamb, otherwise known as Songbird. The Great Songbird was designed by Jeremiah Fink and was based on the design of a monster from another dimension. By collaborating with Rapture's Dr. Suchong, Fink was inspired by the blueprints of the Big Daddy. He was indeed impressed by their intimidating stature, but he sought to create something even more terrifying. The Songbird served two major functions in Colombia. The first was to strike fear into the population. Any who would break the laws of Colombia would be fed to the bird, leaving nothing behind but scraps. The second was to protect Colombia's lamb, Elizabeth. Initially, Fink struggled to create a bond between Elizabeth and Songbird. He experimented with different animals, attempting to form an imprint, but his tests failed. In the end, it was only by complete accident that the bird and the lamb came together. After crashing into the tower on Monument Island, Elizabeth managed to save the bird by reattaching its breather, which had come loose. This act of kindness alone was enough to create a permanent and powerful bond. Following this, Songbird would protect Elizabeth with its life, and would stop at nothing in its pursuit. Few know this better than Booker DeWitt. Songbird's physical form is truly formidable. Its skin appears to be made of a thick leather indicated by the stitching seen on its head. The prototype found in Fink's lab would also suggest that its skeleton is made of metal, which accounts for its durability. Furthermore, Songbird's eyes will glow different colours depending on its mood. Green indicates happiness, while red indicates anger. Although Songbird doesn't possess any real weapons, aside from its spiky claws and feet, it doesn't really need them. Its incredible strength and agility allow it to quickly destroy enemies ranging from feeble grunts to massive airships. This strength combined with its ability to fly at high speeds make it frighteningly efficient at taking out air-based and land-based enemies alike. Despite its power though, Songbird can't withstand high pressure, as it's adapted to low pressures of high altitudes. Elizabeth exploited this weakness by trapping it deep in the ocean. Songbird's actions seem to be semi-autonomous, as it can be controlled by playing a specific tune on a whistler. One of the greatest mysteries surrounding Songbird is what exactly it is. We know of its purpose and its capabilities, but not what's inside. Considering that it's based on a big daddy, it would make sense that something human is inside. However, when you take into account its size, it becomes difficult to believe there is a human body operating the entire frame. It would be my guess that Songbird has a human brain somewhere inside, with the breather keeping it alive. This was a quick profile of Songbird. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Lore. As always, people, thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.